um, um, uh, uh, things about God that are different. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so we don't all experience God the same way, and there's nothing that tells us we should. Mm. Well, one of the things that um, is, is a conundrum is uh, this whole idea of suffering. Mm -hmm. And um, people sometimes bargain with God, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, say, "Oh God, I'll be good. I'll if I if I'm good, will you take away this suffering? Will you do this? Will you do that?" Um, and then there are other people who are very angry at God because of death and, and deaths that they have have under you know seen uh, death of loved ones death of children, um, how do they make sense of it? How do they make sense of the evil in the world, the brutality, the violence? I think Jesus, for instance, was trying to tell us when he said a very strange thing one day. He said, the poor is always going to be with us. The poor is always going to be with us. And that isn't a... Um, um, uh, a uh, an impersonal comment. What Jesus was saying was there will always be an opportunity for us to be truly human. Um, uh, we're not made perfect. If, there, if we were, we wouldn't have the opportunity to love one another, to give us, uh, to give things to one another, to share strength and hope um, or love in the way the situation presents itself, um, because know, this, it, in perfection there'd be no need for this. Right. So there's then, always going to be uh, evil. There's always going to be um, need. There's always going to be um, lack and and uh, imperfection around us to give us the opportunity to be human, to be the way God create us, created and, us. And you see, this is the problem with a lot of people not understanding about right from the beginning of Genesis. God, when God created things, God had a hand in it, mm -hmm. no matter whether you believe in, in you know, um, the story, uh, the um, evolution, mm -hmm. or you believe that God was the first, yep. you know, the un... un um, I forgot the word. <laughs> but anyways... Um, the unmoved mover, mm -hmm. that God did not create the world in perfection. Even though God said it was good, it was not perfect. And, uh, and then God gave us the world and said, keep the work of creation going. That's right. Uh, you know, in a lot of religious traditions, people do not go back to the very beginning of that tradition. For instance... Uh, Christians, they go back to Adam and Eve and say that's our beginning. We're sinful, pe rotten people. Uh, God apparently didn't know what he was doing, did not know, um, uh, uh, you know, what God was doing, you know, um, uh, and, and, and made garbage. But in fact, if you go back to the very beginning, mm -hmm. you find out that God, in fact, did know uh, uh, a plan, and it had a plan in mind. Uh, God made uh, us good, not perfect, but with powers uh, and other attributes that we know belong to God. And then we were given an imperfect world to use those gifts. Mm -hmm. Further down the road, there are all kinds of examples of people who lose hope. Who, um, who think we have to do it all by ourselves and alone and, and are very conscious of our lacks and our, our imperfections. Mm -hmm. But we need to remember our religious tradition, whatever that is, mm -hmm. that goes back to a time when we, when we are told that we are good, that we have a purpose, we have the, attri the divine attributes, um, and then we were given the world to use those attributes mm -hmm. in. That's why Jesus tells uh, his apostles, proclaim the kingdom of God. How? Not by making everybody believers, but by healing, by teaching, uh, by uh, curing leprosy, 
whatever the need is. Um, Feed the hungry, the, the uh, clothe the naked. And the love one another. Love one another. And that is, a, this truth uh, is a very, the one about suffering and, and violence is a very difficult one to accept and understand. But we must understand, as Father Mike has said, that unless things die, mm -hmm. unless they suffer, change will not happen. And our personal growth will not be altered. And that is what it's all about. It's for us to be here for one another, to have compassion. You know, you can't have compassion for a person unless you've had some trials. And unless you've been able to see those trials as part of a plan. I know for myself, and I know, Mike, you do too. You've had your trials. I've had mine. Um, I was bitter for a long time. But then, one day, I knew I couldn't do it by myself. I needed God back in the picture. And then we look back, I look back and I say, you know, it couldn't have been any other way. I couldn't do what I do today unless I had those trials and those sorrows. People would think me uh, a phony, you know, if I sat down and talked to them. Mm -hmm. uh, about suffering. Yeah, right, you don't know suffering. But this is the way we connect with people. We connect with people because of our pain, but we connect basically through our loving compassion. Um, I use the example of the, um, the common, ordinary bat. The bat, you put the bat on a level floor, like we all would like to be, on just some kind of a level, peaceful place. The bat will not be able to hit the air because uh, if you know anything about bats, bats have to uh, climb an uphill plane to get in the air. They cannot take it off from a level floor. There's nothing wrong with an uphill climb or an uphill struggle. As long as we know there's hope, that there's a purpose for the uphill climb. Uh, the purpose is we end up in a higher place, mm -hmm. a better place. A better place, yes. So we hope that you've learned a few things uh, about the difference. There is no difference, actually. You can't have spirituality without being connected to God. Religion helps us in that way to connect to God. Um, so please keep your hearts and your minds open to these voices in the wilderness. Good evening. Thank you.